Yeah, so in the UAE Tour, the second last stage, it was a sprint finish. And uh, yeah, me and Schwartzy, we were sort of up, up in the front fighting for position. And then, yeah, there was like a breaking in front of me. And then that, the, the road went from like really wide, really wide to really narrow with the barriers in the last kilometer, which uh, was a bit unexpected because yeah, there was like barriers before as well. So it was a bit confusing and yeah, breaking. And then I sort of wasn't concentrating enough probably and, and locked up. And I went to go around the, around the crash to like avoid it. And then yeah, all of a sudden there was a barrier there um, and the road was blocked with riders. Um, and yeah, I had nowhere to go. So I, I just went straight into the barrier. Um, and the, the injury that I suffered was a lacerated liver. So I had uh, lots of internal bleeding. Um, and I was very fortunate with where it was. It was at the top of my liver. So that my, my diaphragm stopped the bleeding internally by itself. Um, yeah, from what I've been told, if it was anywhere else, any lower or anything, I, I probably wouldn't be here today. So apart from that, that was the main injury. Apart from that, I did some damage to my finger. I broke my nose, had really like lots of cuts on my face. Um, and yeah, so that was, that was my UAE tour and that was my last race for the team. Yeah, so I spent uh, six weeks in Dubai with my mum. She was fortunate enough to come over, which was really nice. Um, yeah, with her, her support, I couldn't have done it without her. Um, but I did one week in the hospital initially with uh, one surgery and then I spent about five days out of the hospital. And then there was some complications. I started um, bleeding internally again, so I had to go back into hospital, and that was that was much more severe. Um, I think the bleeding was worse than when it, when I first had the crash, and they had to do another operation. They sort of closed the closed the bleeding, um, and I spent two more weeks in the hospital before a further few more uh, yeah well, a week and a half or two weeks in Dubai before I could fly home to to France in Nice. So I had six weeks in Dubai, then another further two weeks or so in, in the apartment, just, just resting and taking care of myself. And then yeah, after about two months, I got back on the Ergo, on the trainer. And then now I've been on the road for two months. So yeah, it's uh, been a slow, but also like a, a quick journey in a way. Like the first half was really slow and then now the last two months has gone really quickly. It was uh, mentally pretty hard at some points but also it was really special seeing the team perform so well. Um, so that kind of kept me going, kept the motivation there, but for sure it was, it was difficult missing out on my, well, yeah, half the season as my Neo Pro year. Um, but yeah, I'm just really excited to get back and it's awesome to be up here in the, in the team camp with the team, with the guys, it's super motivating. So I can't wait to get back racing. Yeah, I, I've been feeling pretty good on the bike actually. It's been, I mean, the progress is, is really rapid. It's like I've come from zero to, to now like every day just making gains, making improvements. So I've been taking it pretty cautious and pretty easily up at altitude. But yesterday I had, had the first efforts and I felt really good. So that's a, that's a positive sign. It gives me more motivation as well. And yeah, I just wanna just lift my level more and more here. Um, I have another five or six days, I think. And then on to my first race. So I think that'll be a big test. Yeah, I, uh, I wanna get back on the same level as what I was or even better than at the start of the year. That's a personal goal for mine, um, but the rest stays the same really. If I can help the team for, for many victories, that would be, be good for me, I think. Um, and yeah, for the rest, we'll see what happens. Just race as much as I can really and enjoy it. <laughs>